there was no one there for me. There was nothing there for me. So I just watched people fall around me. Um, there was nobody to put their hand down to pick, pick you up. Um, nobody from the workplace rang me for months. Um, there was nobody to call. There was no options. There for a while I sort of felt like I was in a forest and um, couldn't see, didn't know what I wanted to do and just came, basically was going through the motions in life, if I'm really honest. He would have seen someone that was uh, about 40 kilo heavier than what I am now, um, stouched over, probably unshaven quite often and looking terrible really. It's a difficult workplace and it's not getting any easier. This job has more than its fair share of trauma at times. Mates is something that's there for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're having trouble um, at home or at work or you're having trouble with the day that you just had. It's the opportunity for anyone who's struggling who wants to reach out. And the thing is people say, oh, I don't want to ring the phone because I don't know who I'm going to get. Well, that's fine. We're approachable. You don't have to ring the phone and get someone who you don't know who it's going to be. You can talk to any of us at any time. If you don't like me, there's plenty of others you can talk to. Um, we can be anonymous, we can be sitting beside you on the couch. Um, but I think it's important that we don't define who we are for our support mechanisms, we just are. That's all we are, we're not counsellors, we're not psychologists, we're not treating practitioners. We're a point of referral, we're a listening ear. We're somebody that can maybe provide you an opportunity to get the help you need, should you need it or we can just listen to you if that's all you want from us. We just want to be a supportive person that can maybe give you a couple of ideas if you, if you haven't got any ideas, um, or if you don't know where to go next, maybe provide that information, or maybe you just need to blurt it all out and you'll feel better after that. There's a lot we do behind the scenes and it's not publicised because obviously it's confidential what we do. People seem to think that we don't do a lot. We actually do talk to a lot of people and um, people just don't realise we do because we keep that to ourselves and the people we deal with. We're at a moment in time where there's a real opportunity to kick on with it, so to speak. I think it's the opportunity that presents itself to us now is really, is to really take stock and say, how do we make sure we're all okay? Um, and continue to do that so it becomes part of our everyday psyche. You know, we're almost a bit like learning to drive a car. We do it without thinking. And I think that's where hopefully, I'd like to see the mates go. It becomes part of that everyday thinking. So when everybody's thinking, or seeing a colleague might be less than okay, you should go and talk to mates, or even having the courage to say, can you check in with so-and-so? Uh, you know, he says he's okay, but I'm not convinced. I've known him a long time. And, and getting it into that space where it becomes something that everybody just thinks about every day, just checking in with their colleagues. That's for everyone involved in TPS, as we're one big organisation, one big team. It is a workplace that does share, I suppose, the stress load. The mates program I think has the ability to help people to stay in that really coping okay sort of phase and giving them some some strategies or some tools or just support like I think um, there's just as much you get out of having support than you do having a specific strategy or a tool but if you know that there's someone you can go to and talk to then that is huge and I think that's what the mates could really focus on, the fact that they can provide, the, they don't have to have an extensive knowledge of specific counselling strategies like that. That's not what they're necessarily there for. They're there to be someone to listen to and to talk to and to have a real good sense of support from. Over time, we will embed, truly embed mates into the TPS. And so it becomes part of our business as usual. Mates is a really good analogy in many ways. We are here to be your mate in whatever that looks like. And for me, it, it, it is about that first intervention of support, in, in, and particularly in, in a 24 7 business like ourselves. It, you know, there is always one of them here, there's always one of them on the phone. So, whenever it's happened, whatever it is that's happened, any time of day, night, we know we can get somebody in contact with that person very quickly. Um, and that contact can be maintained for as long as it needs to be maintained, whether it's one individual or multiple individuals. I'd never ever been able to run over the bridge. I was petrified. Every time I'd started to walk over the bridge, I started to panic. And um, 
and I, I can't, couldn't run over the pedestrian crossing. I just panicked. I looked over the side and I felt like the traffic was too close and it was, I can't explain it, the fear of heights and the whole thing. I just froze and I couldn't move. I felt sick and I, yeah, struggled to turn around and walk back off the bridge. I was shaking so much. We did this thing where pick a fear or something that you can't do and let's work through it. And we did. And um, the next day I ran over the bridge and I reckon I've done it 20 times since. Whenever I start doubting myself now, that's my goal. If I start to think I can't do something or I get a bit down, I get to the bridge and I go, if you can do this, you can do anything. And um, with the training, it sort of made me look at life a little bit different and approach life a bit different. The Resilience by Design course is, yeah, it's brilliant. It's, um, I found it to be quite motivating, easy to understand, and um, that's, that's what I feel the course was like all throughout, just easy to follow, easy to understand, practical and applicable. The fact that this is relatable is really good, so, you know, I've got my experience and I've got, I've got my way of doing things, and then when you're reading or watching a video that explains to you why it happens that way or, you know, how you have more control over it, the feedback I've had from the training is that it's pretty much world class, um, something that people have never done before, that they really need to have an open mind for, and they'll benefit the whole of life from. If that's all you need to join and become a mate, we're family friendly, we're flexible, um, it's a really good group to be in, we're very, very welcoming, and we don't hold any prejudices or biases. We've really moved forward in the last 12 months and hopefully the next 12 months we'll move forward even more. We just need the people to believe in us and reach out to us. People do care, and that's the thing to remember. You know, if there's a negative feeling over, I won't say anything, just lose that. Just reach out, someone will, they'll be there to help. Look, I suppose the only thing I can look at is what Mates has given me and the changes it's given me through the training it's given me. And the fact that I know personally that I've made a huge difference to a couple of other people's lives. Um, you can't repay TPS for that, and you'll always feel good that you made a difference. And being able to be associated to that is just fantastic. This, it's a life-changing experience if you embrace it. You've just got to be ready to embrace it.